Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Valhalla! Enough of you were interested enough to see more, so I decided hey, I'll play another episode, two more, maybe two. And again, just keep an eye on it and see if you guys are enjoying it before I continue. Anyway, we just took a break and now we're back at work, baby. My favorite. And Jill says, at least I didn't get locked up this time. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, Jill. What? I can- I don't know. Just keep the same songs, goddammit. Alright then, back in action. Good evening. Good eve, uh... Uh, would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable, I usually forget I have it on. Okay, so you're not a robot. That's good to know. Hey! Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist, Psy P, Asagiri of 765th Division, Valkyrie Corps. Uh, listen, girl, I didn't fucking ask for your life story. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. I think I will, thank you. What can I get for you, Say? Let's see, I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice too. Um, but not cool as in great, and especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. Uh, sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that, give me a second. God, you son of a god dang. All right, by flavor, sweet. How about the Sparkle Star? We could go Sugar Rush. Uh, you know, a little sweet. Something small, sweet, and icy. And can I serve it all mixed, huh? No, that's not gonna do it. I need it to be... How about the Blue Fairy? Girl, I am a Blue Fairy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Sparkle Star, aged and mixed, no. How about the Moon Blast? All on the rocks and blended. Okay, here we go. We can do this. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Girl, you're gonna love this, I'm telling ya. I'm making this myself, and not too many people get it, and uh, they're gonna fucking love it. Uh, like, watch this shit. I'm gonna mix it up nice and nice and nice for you, blend it. Yeah, there it is. Mmm, baby. Enjoy your moon blast after I blast you in the... Well, just take your moon blast, all right? Here you are. Ah, yes, this is just what I needed. Thanks. We don't get many white knights as clients. I can only remember one other. In fact, you said you're from Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Right? Oh, no, 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 no. You're thinking of Blitzkrieg Corpse. The ones with huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we are different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with uh, the aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect, we are the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attack. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times, the ones who assist the victims of crime. We also have a sweet rhyming meta- uh, not metaphor, a sweet rhyming theme. That's just, you know. We watch, we protect. Uh, what was that? Sorry, it's sort of our Pledge of Allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duty mostly includes res rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. I mean, that's not really a firefighter as much as it's like you're a police officer. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, damn, that must be a tough job. Sorta, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've, got yet, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. This one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down and I was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry night or a starry sky on earth. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up after an aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and the scattered pieces of glass, it was almost like a dream. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but, you know what, never mind. Wait, did I mishear you and you actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated size from people after everything's said and done, but 
No, don't, don't, don't worry. You didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. You finished your drink? Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy, a classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem, don't worry. Classy, right? All right, let's see what I can find you. All right, a uh, classy drink, huh? So by name, by type. Classy drinks. Apparently we have literally a section in our menu called classy drinks. I'm gonna give you a cobalt velvet, girl. Cause you look like a cobalt kind of girl. You know what I mean? With the, with the hair color and stuff. Uh, that's all I'm saying. There you go. Look at that. That looks great. Cobalt velvet. Here you are. Yep. This looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes these kinds of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name. Now I want to know yours. Oh, sure, just call me Jill. Jill, hmm, Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian, Julie, Ju Julianne. Do not call me Julianne, please. Uh, sorry about that. No, please excuse me, I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason, don't dwell too much on that. Oh, all right. Well, I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap. <sighs> My mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. It makes me feel all comfy and nostalgic. <clears throat> uh, what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in the hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then, I just felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Huh? It's interesting, though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run in the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. Yeah, but I, I try to do the same, I guess. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically, though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that I think about it, there are two- there are different kinds of white knights, alright? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type, there are many different classes, rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But a few are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. And besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Yep, I'm gonna stop here today. Thanks for the time to chat, Jill. Sure, no problem. Bye. Come again. Will do. Wait, you forgot your helmet. She's gone. Whoa! Gil, did the ammonia make you go nuts? There were, 
There was this time in Zanzibar when that almost happened. In any case, I'll go check that noise. What? Oh, she woke up. Wh where am I? Where am I? Good evening, and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. V Valhalla? I am I dead? D does that mean that Uncle Inga's ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? Called it. Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? <sighs> Alright, then where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries, otherwise you'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists! The whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes? Beat me unconscious? Have your horrible way with me and then brutally murder me, don't you? Oh, while still violating every hole in my body as I lay there twitching, don't you? Murder, 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 Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down or to throw at her face. Okay. Let's get her... You know what? Let's get her a promo drink. You're, you're now dubbed the piano woman. Because you play dramatic like a piano would. You know what? Let's make it big. You need a big one. All aged and mixed, so we'll make sure it's aged. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I can't actually. Reset. This thing's gonna be big enough as it is, apparently. Three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. Aged. Mixed. Bam. Enjoy your piano woman. Woman? What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bars serve drinks. A uh, bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? What did you spice it with? Roofies? TTX? Pumpkins? G God, no. I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes, me, makes you suspicious, you know? If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay in tips. Not to mention I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's not the best case scenario. Oh wait, <laughs> and that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all proud for how a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going to through it all is just... Ugh. Even if you say that, Let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Oof. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? Yeah, a hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What about- Oh my god! How? Why? How? How? I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on, try it on the drink. It says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Good point. But first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss's. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. I'm sorry. You can just ignore the drink, go through that door, and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace and nothing of value would be lost. Mm. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? This girl is fucking crazy! Eh? And what about the drink? 
Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I... Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant and that your work does matter. Uh, I'm not so sure you should drink it all so fast. So, how was it? It was good, I guess. It'll help me calm down a bit, I think. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably reacted the same way. I should apologize for my latest comment, too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. Uh, I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. Look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. Your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. All right then, I'll take you on your offer. I'll have a piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. Look, I gave you a piano woman. Was that not good enough? All right, well, piano man, sounds good to me. I mean, it's actually funny that I gave you a piano woman and now you want a piano man. I don't know if that's built into the game or if I just got lucky. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Rocks mixed. Boom, piano man! Here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to get these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. Oh, damn! That's all. It's Jesus Christ. What did he do? Your dad, I mean, to provoke a pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got it too excited. Jazz does that to you. I see. The piano man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors said friend liked to the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? Of course that's where you work. I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people have done it before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. And would you believe it? The guy became a decent at, ser at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts! Ugh! Knowing that I have to work for him. Ugh! Why are you working there, then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? N no, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be your bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something that's of quality. All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point, I thought about being a bartender, but I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it deepens on what it deepens. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? 
I guess I was lucky. Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is! She's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... <laughs> what? Well, uh, sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. Can I ask you another one though? Although I don't know how much and- Oh wait, can I ask for another one though? Uh, wait, what? I, why am I reading this like horribly? You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. There we go. I think I can handle another drink. One Brantini, please. Coming right up. Brantini, huh? I never, what the fuck is like a brandy martini? That'd be my guess, brandy martini. Six, one, two, three. One of these, all aged and mixed. Beautiful. Here you go. Yep, that seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey Jill, was this job like a lifelong dream or something? Not really, it just kind of happened. One thing led to another and bam, I'm bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julianne arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish stuff. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. Oh, childish dreams, yeah. I remember I wanted to live in Koi Pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams. None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I just picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally! Ugh, those dogs left a mess I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, client, morning, or good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm leaving early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. Sure. Uh, who is he? Ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that! Why were you asking all those questions? Uh, because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please, thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you and come again. And that's it. Hey, are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil and where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned up the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple drinks and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling your do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Mm, no, not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger, just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you to today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Oh yeah! Boom, 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 boom. We made $2,343.
Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account is at least 800 by then. Jill is lost in thought about a hollow plan. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse Danger slash you. You can now visit JC Elton's. Jill is lost in thought about a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting distracted. Weren't you gonna have curry yesterday? The ghost took my money. Wait, I can buy stuff? I gotta figure that out. What's this? Danger you, Miki concert. Hang on, let's... I wanna buy a hollow plant. Add app. Nope. Uh, augmented eye, we'll look at that after. Shop, aha. Bum, 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 bum. Hover on an item to examine it, double click to buy it. I just want a hollow plant, dog. Look at all this shit. Hollow plant, 600 bucks in memory of a real potted plant. All right, we got it, we bought a hollow plant. Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work today. What happens if I don't? Like, that's what I'm curious. There's a hollow plant looking great. Will it actually, like, change the outcome of the game? Is there gonna be multiple, like, endings and stuff? Interesting. Well, let's go ahead and save it. And uh, we'll stop here for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am glad you guys are enjoying it. It's a very interesting game, to say the least. Uh, apparently, she's a slut. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.